Ted Bundy grew up sharp, alert, and highly intelligent. But he seemed to look upon women as vehicles of abuse and objects of loathing. This twisted view manifested itself for the first time in January of 1974 when Bundy abducted Linda Healy and murdered her. Over the next six months, he killed eight more young women in the Seattle area. Each one of the victims had been young, attractive, with dark hair usually parted in the middle. Feeling the police closing in, Bundy quietly moved to Utah, and by October, a new series of abductions and brutal murders had begun around Salt Lake City. By the end of 1974, Bundy had killed at least a dozen young women. Sidestepping the authorities once again, he moved to Colorado, where his reign of terror continued, killing four more women in quick succession. Stopped for driving erratically, he was arrested when the officer saw handcuffs and a pair of pantyhose with eye holes cut out in the back of his car. In June of 1977, he jumped from the second floor of the county courthouse in Aspen, Colorado, and escaped. After his recapture eight days later, he escaped again by removing a light fixture in his cell. In the early morning hours of January 15, 1978, he invaded the Chi Omega sorority house in Tallahassee, Florida, where he raped and killed two women and severely beat two others. Three weeks later, Bundy would go even further when he molested and murdered a 12-year-old girl in Jacksonville. The police finally caught up to Ted Bundy in February of 1978. During the trial, he used every opportunity to display his brilliant legal mind and would even end up pleading his own case in lieu of his lawyer's summation. But the jury was not convinced and found him guilty of two counts of murder and sentenced him to death by electrocution. Finally, after years of appeals, he was executed in February of 1989.